Chodes? Today we're reacting to Eugene Ryabchenko, the drummer for Flesh God Apocalypse. Let's get started. Starting right off with the triplet blast. I think I remember this song. It was on their second or third album, right? Oh, sick Phil. And if I remember correctly, I think this song is about to get a lot faster. Oh, I guess not yet. We need the hammer blast first, right? So clean. It almost sounds fake. It's so clean. It's not fake though. What speed is that? That's gotta be like 280, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my God, look at his face. He knows that was tough. He's like, wow. Wow. Dude, this is so fast. Single strokes at 280? I'm sorry, I need to see that again, please, yeah? Since this video is probably going to get copyright claimed, I need a little help from a sponsor so I can still eat some food this week. And this video is brought to you by one of my favorite games, Raid Shadow Legends. In case you haven't heard, Raid is a dark fantasy RPG with hundreds of characters to collect, customize, and battle with. And each character has a unique set of skills, so it's a lot of fun trying out different team combinations to see what works best in different areas of the game. The best part is that it's free to play and you can use your mobile device or your computer. Links are below. Let's take a second here to talk about the Doom Tower which is arguably the hardest content in Raid. This tower is basically a giant prison of death. Long ago, the Arbiter defeated some pretty nasty bad guys, but she wasn't strong enough to totally wipe them out, so she locked them away in this massive tower, and now it's up to you to climb to the top. This is no easy feat. You need an army of champions and a lot of strategy. Specifically, the bosses in this tower are really tough, and you'll definitely need a few specialists if you're gonna have a chance at beating them. And certain bosses need specific mechanics just to beat them, like the Scarab King. If you attack this giant crab when you're not under a shield buff, he will counterattack your whole team, and it's a pretty deadly blow. So make sure you're prepared before attempting this nasty climb. What I love about Raid is how many different ways you can equip your champions with artifacts and masteries. There's many different gear sets, and each one gives you a unique bonus, so make sure you pay attention to those. And you better join a clan so you can get extra rewards every day. They're always making updates to the game. This month is gonna be jam-packed full of special events and tournaments, and you know there's gonna be Halloween stuff. I can't wait to see the spooky new champion they release at the end of the month. This is a great time to get in here you guys just do it get a huge head start in raid use the link in my description or scan my QR code and each new player will get the epic hero Chanaru, an energy refill 200,000 silver an XP boost and one ancient shard so you can summon a new champion right away and I should also mention that Chanaru is great for helping you climb that doom tower all this free stuff will be waiting for you right up here in the inbox but only for the next 30 days and for new players you can find me in raid under the name 66 Samus and I take this game pretty seriously so if you want to join one of my clans hop into my discord server. And as always, good luck, happy raiding, and I'll see you guys in there. Oh, yeah. This is fucking insane. I didn't think it was any, I, I didn't think it was possible for anyone to be able to play this song. Eugene, what do you eat? I can't tell if this is a push-pull or not, because you can see his whole, like, even his elbow is moving back and forth. It's definitely some kind of variation of the molar technique, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. He is very excited. Very excited to play drum for Flesh Code Apocalypse. Oh my god. I, I feel like if I even tried to go that fast, I would I would hurt myself. I would just rip my TFCC even more. You gotta practice that fast all the time, I guess. I, I don't know, man. Eugene, tell us your secrets. He gets a break now. He's finally doing a little punk beat. He gets a break. You see, he's getting a breathe. Nope. No more break for you. Keeps going. Dude, 
Like, how did Francesco even record this song when, uh, fuck, man. Are they gonna play this live? I need to see this live. This is so fucking, bleh. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. The faces and the hair whips. I can't, dude. How is that even possible? I give up! No more drums for me! Oh, his right hand must be getting a little tired, and I, I would be doing the same thing. He's just doing the eighth notes instead of the sixteenths now, or whatever you call it. I'd be doing the same thing, Eugene. I would be cramping like a motherfucker if I even tried to play that fast. Oh, he's so excited that he can finally go back to the slower triplets. Dude, that's so clean! It sounds like, it sounds like a fucking machine. That little china sounds really good. Yeah, he's smiling, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. You got through the fast shit. Oh my god. That was fucking... <laughs> Hand cramp? Dude, I do that all the fuck... Oh, I turned it into Italian grip. Oh, so come on, dice. Oh. Slaying the prophets of Chima. <laughs> Looks like he's hitting pretty hard for the speed he's going too. And damn, the swivels on the double kicks. Look at that mark in the middle of his snare drum. That is precision hitting right there. Ooh. This is insane, dude. Yeah, he's hitting pretty hard for blasting at that speed. Oh, the swivels. I feel like he's actually hitting a little bit harder than Inferno. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Oh my god, meanwhile, G Eugene's going off the fucking wall! He just did that one foot in. I can't tell if he uses the exact same blasting technique on his left and right hand or not yet. I'm trying to still figure that out. Oh my god, dude. That was a fucking sick fill. <laughs> oh, the kick spurts in there. The quick swivels. It's hard to be that accurate and clean too, especially when you're stopping and starting and at that speed. That's fucking awesome. Oh, can you feel the thunder? Hold on, hold on. You <laughs> one foot, dude, are you serious? Eugene, how? Jing how? <laughs> Such a fast blast beat, dude. The fill's on top of it. That was fucking sick. Yo, the camera's moving. He must have it on like a drum stand or something. And whoa, 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 He's using the axis pedals in this one. Uh oh. Damn, the feet are so clean. He almost sounds cleaner on the axis pedals. Let's go, dude. Yeah, the feet are so clean, dude. It sounds like it's fucking programmed. That's crazy. And this is live. Like, I haven't heard one kick note that, like, sounded like it was a tad off. Not even one. It sounds like a fucking drum machine. Eugene the Machine. How about that? I like it. I am Bobby. Would you have sex with Al in his butt now? Mm -hmm. 
Not only is that fast as shit, but he's wit he's headbanging too, and it's super clean. Usually when I play and then I start headbanging, it gets like a little sloppy. I didn't. I, 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 It's a one footer. Eugene. Eugene is probably like the best live session drummer for this kind of music, dude. Like, based on seeing this and the decapitated footage, like, it's fucking perfect. It's fucking perfect. He's not human, dude. Eugene the machine. Fucking cheers to that. Are we gonna give Eugene a new nickname after this video now, you guys? I think we need to. Hashtag Eugene the Machine in the comments. <coughs> Dude, even that fast, look at his stick height. <laughs> ooh, ooh. All right, you know what, dude? I don't, I don't even think I can watch anymore. I already exploded in my pants twice. Eugene, you're fucking insane, dude. All right, that's the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe or I have to get kicked in the balls by a horse.